Hey, Levi here from Hammer Fab. We're gonna show you guys a new project here we got. It's a 2017 GMC Sierra. Single cab, short bed truck. We're building for a client of ours out of Houston, Texas. We're doing some serious fabrication of this thing, okay? So, this isn't really our normal cup of tea, but he's a good customer, and I said we'll do it, but only if you want it done right. Doesn't matter if it's a 1972 Chevy truck or 2017 GMC, we do the details that make the difference. One of those things that we're doing is we're building a custom chassis for this truck. Now, I don't really want to be in the custom chassis building business. I want to be in the custom one-off, we'll build some crazy stuff business. What you're going to see in this video is some of the process figuring out how to design a new chassis using some of the latest technology available to the custom automotive industry. January 2020, I did some research uh, with SEMA Garage, tried to get some files through them and stuff for scanning the bottom, or instead of scanning the bottom of the truck, I tried to get CAD files so that we could put them in SolidWorks and design off of those. Same thing with the engine. We're using a, a Corvette LT4 uh, engine, crate motor that we have with an 8, 8L90 E transmission. Um, this truck came with a V6. So basically we weren't able to use the chassis or the, the engine or transmission or anything. And so we figured, well, since we got to do so much work anyways and make this thing lay frame with giant wheels and everything, we might as well just scrap all that and just use the body. So since I was unable to get the files that I could design off of in SolidWorks, we have to go a different route. Um, you know, worst case scenario is we could just use a tape measure and everything and, and jig it up and, and build everything in the computer based off of like a million measurements. Well, we can do that, but it's very time consuming. And so we're trying to speed up the process. And so the second best thing is being able to scan using the latest technology, 3D scanning technology. We're gonna scan the bottom of this truck while it's jigged in place. And then off of that scan, we can put that into the computer and design a chassis that fits the stock body mounts based off of that scan. We're gonna do the same thing with the engine. Since we couldn't get a scan for the engine, we're gonna scan the engine, mainly just for basic parameters so that we can install that in the computer, in the model, and see what's gonna to touch and what's not. And then we'll probe the body mount holes and the, the important holes, we'll probe them because the probe is more, more of an accurate uh, dimension than the scan. And then once we have that information, that data, we can put that in the computer and build a really awesome chassis for this truck. So stay tuned. We're gonna finish building this jig. We're gonna hang the body from the air and get the lift down out of the way so that we can get in there with the scanner. That's the main purpose of what we're getting ready to do first. And then next week, we'll have the 3D scan guy come out and do his magic with the scanner.
got the GMC all jigged up. You see this apparatus right here. This is, uh, well, for the most part, the main beams here are two by two quarter inch thick wall tubing. And we've got it braced all the way around the lower perimeter and then gusseted to these uprights that are gonna hang the body from the top. So what we're trying to do here is we're, it's basically like an exoskeleton that's going to suspend the body exactly where we want it without moving so we can lower the lift out of the way so that the scan guy can come and do his 3D scanning magic without anything in the way. Got it? Got it. Wait a minute, I forgot something. So what we did, got it all welded up in place and then the last thing I had to do was go around and cut the tack welds off of the very base plate. That, these bottom stanchions that were welded, they were originally, they were welded right to the frame table. Well, it's a, it's a four post lift, but it's a really beefy one. So we're using it as a frame table. And so now that we've got it all jigged and, and held up on the top side, we're gonna cut those tacks loose and then drop the lift down. So that, I've already got those all cut and now we're gonna drop the lift. Worked like a charm. The thing didn't move very much when we let it loose, so that's what I was most concerned about. So, nice and, nice and beefy hanging there. So now we'll come under here, and he'll set the scanner right here in the middle on the floor, and then basically he has to be able to scan and, and get up there like this and scan everything and then we'll put it in the computer. Can't wait. We're gonna design a custom chassis. <laughs>